One option, depending on what they're wearing, is to tuck the towel here and secure it at the sides. And that just means we've got a really nice clay line to work on, um, to work above. So that when we release the towel, more or less, we can see. If you just pull the towel, towel down, it, it'll, the, it'll keep riding up and you'll have to keep adjusting it. Always keep your hand on the client. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have just lifted this off and, and done that, but she might be wondering what I'm doing. Especially if it's later in the treatment, they might think, you know, have they finished or are they checking on the phone, like what are they doing? So it's good practice, if where possible, to keep your hand, even if it's just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because then, because they can't see what's happening, so that just gives them reassurance that, that you're there. So when we put the product on, you know, just do it in any old way. Just make sure there's some on the main bits of the back and on the sides here. And then we go on to our first main move, effleurage. So we keep shoulders as low as possible, front leg bent, back leg straight. And that's our, just like we did on the feet, it's... It's as though your arms are just stuck on the end, but it's your legs doing the work. So you want this lifting up. So the purpose of this is to cover as much surface area as possible. And just to relax them at the start. Even if they've come for super deep tissue, you just do this at the start to soothe them. The pressure's on the way up but not on the way back. And it's never really firm. We're not trying to fix anyone, crack anything. We're just soothing them. Don't skip the top of the shoulders. No pressure on the way down. And this is to do with the, the blood flow. Okay. And then a variation on this is called ringing. So imagine ringing a towel. So the hands are going in both that way, but not. We go all the way around the sides here. So every time my arms move like this, my whole body's moving with me. If I was to stay still, my legs would do that. All the tension would be in my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Just um, please be mindful of not resting on the face cradle with your hands because it, it can be too much weight um, for, the, for the design. So when we get to about sort of mid upper back, we just stay on the top here, otherwise it becomes too, can become too intimate. So when we see this sort of squishing of the back in the middle, that's a good sign. <laughs> It's, you can't cross over the neck with both hands like this, so we just do a one-handed version, which is really nice. So we're always matching the contours here, and just putting our whole shape of our hand against the shape of the neck. And here I'm pulling back and I'm using the pads of my fingers. We just release the pressure on the spine here at the top. And we travel back down. Do you want to try that? Mm -hmm. 